Hello, everyone. I'm thrilled to be with you here, virtually at least, at the fourth annual Advanced Energy Technology Forum. Thank you so much to Sheila and, and really the entire United States Energy Association team for hosting this great event. You have so many illustrious speakers joining you, but I must shamelessly plug the roundtable that's coming a little bit later that features research and development at the Department of Energy's National Labs. I am constantly amazed by the work they do, and I know you will be too. At DOE, please know we are all in on driving clean energy innovation and deployment forward. We launched the Energy Earthshots initiative to solve some of the most pressing and persistent problems that are holding back the most promising next generation clean technologies. Five Earthshots so far, one on clean hydrogen, one on long duration storage, one on carbon dioxide removal, engineered geothermal, and then floating offshore wind. We've also jump-started our loan programs office, and we've empowered the team to start backing commercial scale clean energy projects with major loans and loan guarantees. And we placed a new emphasis on demonstration and deployment at our department to take our existing research and development capacity and send those technologies into the market. But now, thanks to President Biden's agenda, we'll have the resources to truly build a better America powered by clean energy. The Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act is the backbone of this body of new laws. This law kicks off efforts to modernize our grid and to build out a national EV charger network and to commercialize next generation technologies like advanced nuclear and clean hydrogen, and to keep our civil nuclear fleet online and upgrade our hydropower resources. The Chips and Science Act, then, is the brain of this body of laws, opening up a, a bold new era of clean energy research and development spearheaded by the federal government while securing supply chains that are reliable so America can build the technologies that emerge from these R&D projects. And then the third piece, the Inflation Reduction Act. That's really the, the heart and lungs. It, it breathes new life into our clean energy industries by, by pumping real certainty into the market for American-made solar and wind and storage and EVs and clean hydrogen and energy efficiency technologies and so much more. This, these three laws, this agenda, will lower costs and save Americans money. It will obviously cut carbon pollution. It'll clean up our air and our water. It will improve our health. It'll help to revitalize disadvantaged communities with place-based incentives to locate clean energy industries in areas that have been greatly stressed by the energy transition or by industrial pollution. This clean energy agenda incentivizes manufacturing in the United States. It incentivizes jobs that pay prevailing wages. It incentivizes worker training through apprenticeships. So much to love. Of course, this won't happen overnight. We call it a transition for a reason. We have to ensure that this is a managed transition, one that really never loses sight of the nation's current energy demands or of the communities that have helped power the nation for over a century. And that means decarbonization through addition, meaning growing the energy pie and growing it clean. Actually, the transition is really a transformation, a transformational opportunity. America seizing the opportunity to build this whole new industrial sector that will help the world decarbonize. And it means creating new clean energy jobs. And retaining opportunities for fossil energy workers through skills-matched jobs. And while DOE now has historic investments to help with these tasks, we can't do this alone. We need state and local and tribal governments stepping up. Perhaps most importantly, we've got to have industry support. So if you work in the private sector, figure out how you can qualify for these new tax credits, whether you're interested in solar or batteries or transmission or clean hydrogen. Call up our loan programs office if there's a commercial scale project you could launch with some loan support. Partner with us. Help us launch demonstration projects in advanced nuclear and carbon capture to create jobs with skills that fossil fuel workers already have. 
work with disadvantaged communities to create economic development opportunities through clean energy deployment. We need your help and we need your A-game, not just for the sake of climate change, but really for the sake of your business. Because those who invest in clean energy now will get the inside track on a global market set to reach $23 trillion in value by the end of the decade. So let's turn that wheel of history together. Let's drive into the lead on that market and onto America's clean energy future. Thank you so much for having me.